Away from that event, we move on to another event that also attracted a rich crowd of members of the bench and the bar. Not less than 30 judges cutting across the appellate, federal and state courts attended this event which was to launch a book with the title The Compass, a Compendium of Civil Rules and Regulations. We have highlights from that event in this next report. Gathered here are judges of the appellate courts, the federal and state high courts, senior advocates, members of the outer bar and many others. They are all here for the launch of the book, The Compass, a compendium of civil rules and regulations. The book highlights some of the major debates and controversies in the rules of procedure of civil cases. It exposes the issues of technicality in the pursuit of substantial justice and the differences created in the rules of interpretation. The chairman of the occasion, retired Supreme Court Judge Justice Ejembi Echo, shared some of the important civil procedure rules debate that the book spotlights. The controversy is still on. You will find that uh, you will find in some of the judgments of coming from the superior courts, especially the appellate courts, some towing the liberal view that the writ, a defective writ, is still procedural, and any procedure, rules of procedure, can be waived. And then take, coin, taking the, uh, the line of uh, waiver, you will say, okay, since you have waived your right, you cannot be hard to complain later. And that raising the issue of substance, I mean non-compliance or defect of the, uh, the read of summons is just an arcane technicality mm -hmm. that the courts are now walking away from. So this debate is still on. You will find it in the book. Vice Chancellor of the University of Ilori, Professor Wahab Egbewale, who gave a comprehensive review of the book and its authors, had this to say. The compendium by these elder scholars and practitioners is a 943-page document excluding all the preliminary pages. The content is an all-inclusive iteration and new knowledge of civil procedural rules of the High Courts of Nigeria. Other speakers were quick to recommend the book. They are hopeful that the book will deepen the jurisprudence of legal and institutional procedures in the country. One of the authors also used the opportunity to further highlight the reason for the revised edition of the book. The Compass, a compendium of civil procedural rule in Nigeria, is the latest publication from the stable on high court civil procedural rules all over Nigeria. The precursor to this was the Book Book 2 2012, which ran to third edition and blazed the trail in expanding on the innovative and revolutionary rules of the civil procedure originated by Lagos State Judiciary in 2004. The conference has been adjourned by the review analyst as the most authoritative work on civil procedure in the country using the lens of Lagos, Abuja, and Federal Airport. With cross-referencing, traversing boundaries of other states of the Federation and the National Industrial Court, uniform civil procedure rule necessary as it is, is virtually emerging. It must be an evolutionary process, as we are currently witnessing since the court rules of position must not be legislated upon. The book, The Compass, a compendium of civil rules and regulations, has been recommended for judges, legal practitioners, the legislature, researchers, scholars, policymakers, and educational institutions, such as colleges of law and research centers generally.